Hello and welcome to my video lecture on how to use uh, drop-down list boxes, otherwise known as um, drop-down option boxes. Um, so here we have our uh, base uh, HTML file that has a, uh, a data entry form in it. If we look at it in the web browser right now, it just has uh, the ability to do first name, last name, and email. What we want to do is add a little bit more functionality in there. So here I have um, basically a template on how to uh, put together uh, my lists. So I'm just going to go here and I'm going to grab the select. So the way you do this is you start off with a select element. I'll just copy it in and paste it in. We can handle that as we go. So here I've got my select element. Uh, my select element will allow me to select from a list. I'm going to copy down my labels since I like using labels. I'll put a break after that. And then um, what I'm going to do is here's my select element. I'm going to give it a name. And in this case, somebody's going to be able to uh, pick the type of crust that they like. So here I'm going to change uh, my label uh, to be more descriptive of what's actually going on. So there's my uh, label for my crust. Here's my select. And in my select, I am setting up options that are going to appear. Uh, again, here I've got values. These values are going to be associated with the name of the select. So when I'm passing this using the post array, I'm going to reference uh, the post array's uh, string index of crust to get the value that got selected. Now, in this case, it's an option. Uh, so when we pick that, the user is only going to be able to pick from one of these. Uh, and that's why we can uh, put them all under uh, the name of crust. So here I've got uh, thin crust, deep dash, hand tossed. They're all here. I've got a bunch of breaks after this to separate this from my input. Uh, so I'm going to save all of that. I'm going to go to my web browser. I'm going to refresh that. And here's my drop down list. And I can see that I can pick only one of these. And that's how you would use um, a, a select style. So now if I go back and I grab my option group uh, lists, what I can do is, again, I'm going to uh, I'll copy all of this. I'll show you what this looks like. So if I put this in my HTML, yeah, I don't need that many breaks. Um, add in a little white space so I can see what I'm doing. Grab my select, tab it in a bit. Once again, add my label. And this isn't crust. Um, this is going to be uh, style. So it's going to be what style of pizza someone likes. So here I've got my select. My name is size. Then I've got an option group. The label is, is uh, New Yorker, right? So the New Yorker gives you the ability to pick um, either uh, the New York 10, the New York 12, the New York 16. So those are all the different inches. You can see that by the double quotes. Here I'm using the selected keyword. Um, I could have used the same up here, um, but really the, the first one is usually the one that, that's picked and that's common. So you can kind of leave that. When you get into these option groups, so here I, I'm going to have one set that's going to uh, let someone pick from the New Yorker. But if they decide to pick from the Chicago, they'll have to pick this. And then you can see the values being returned are different depending on what they pick. They can pick multiples. They can still only pick one because this is a, a drop-down select. And that's the way it works. So I'm going to save all that. I'm going to go back to my web browser. And now when I refresh that, now when I drop it down, I can see that the title of that option group is there. And I can pick any of these and then uh, I would probably want now that I'm looking at that if I go back I would want to probably make this um, you know the NY10 just so that when I go and I actually view this I save that it makes a differentiation when I um, when I refresh now when I pick it is actually the New York 10, which is a little bit more descriptive. So that's the end of uh, my video lecture on how to use the, the different um, drop-down list styles of inputs. Um, and now you can use them on your HTML forms.